Detective John Baker, police report on the Gazzetti case, England, 2016. This is probably going to be my final report, so I thought I would put into words the events of the last few days. You think you're a tough police officer, Chief, but you haven't gone through what I have. You'll probably be listening to this, wondering why this has led me to leaving the force, but you'll just have to stick around for the whole thing. The press have been on their noses about the serial killing for the past month, and finally, I had thought I was going to catch him. As you know, it all started with an anonymous tip-off. I was so close this time, but somehow he got away. I was left with another dead body at my feet. Some people say I drink too much, but I just say it calms my nerves. The chief says I can't solve this case if I don't have a stiff one. As you know, this is a hot topic for the press. Three murders in one month, and in similar ways. I think we have a serial killing on our hands, detective, and that does not look good in our department. Now find this goddamn killer before he kills again, or you'll be out of the job. I stayed up all night. I couldn't sleep. I spent all day looking at my wall of evidence, sticking up new pictures from the police file. But however much I tried, I still couldn't find the link I needed to catch the killer. It was likely there was going to be another killing, and I wasn't going to let that happen. Local art galleries auction for their prized artwork, said to be worth nearly £5 million, has in fact been found a face. Police say that the artwork was reported fake by one of the gallery's staff, 21-year-old art student later been reported missing. The art gallery. That's the link. The first victim was an art history professor. The second had a brochure for the art gallery. And the final link, the train ticket. He must have gone to the gallery. It's the only place to go in that forsaken area. But who has the blood on their hands? I realised that, that mark on his back must have been from the paint. Any man would know that nobody's gun is that dirty unless kept in a dirty place. The only person capable of a forgery on this level is Guzzetti. I've been trying to catch him for years. But that girl, she's just revealed the fake painting to the police. She's next on the hit list. All I wanted to do was get a bit of money. I deserve the money. I get nothing for my artwork and I should. But you lot just kept getting in my way. You had to go. Put the weapon down. Detective John Baker, police report on the Gazette. And that's the whole story, Chief. I've seen more death than most in this town, and it haunts me. I can't carry on any longer, and I'm leaving the force and this godforsaken part of town and starting a new life.
Not with that range, you know. Chief, how long have you been listening? Long enough, detective. I'll call you an ambulance. It won't reach me in time. Good baker. Caught the killer, but not in time.